you should take me seriously. Because look at the scoreboard yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I got numbers on the. Oh. Oh. Yo, did he just walk up slowly and down smash? The hard read. A crowd favorite spectacle for when a player knows exactly what their opponent is going to do and delivers a showy punishment. This doesn't come without risk, however, since predicting wrong will leave you overcommitted and defenseless as your flashy punish fizzles out. In TF2, a fully projectile dependent arsenal and instant kill potential of sticky traps makes Demo Man no stranger to predicting opponents. But in those moments when you know exactly where your opponents are going to be and when, the hardest punish Demo has is the sticky sink. What is a sticky sink? Well, it's a sticky bomb launcher technique that threatens high burst damage in a concentrated area. By firing stickies in an ever shallower arc while walking forward, you can synchronize them to land in the same approximate zone at the same approximate time. What makes this so effective is that you can package these stickies together and your opponents won't see them until their travel and arm times are all finished. Because of this, sticky sinks will catch far more enemies off guard than just a steady flow of stickies, where after seeing the first, enemies will already be aware of the threat and won't fall victim. While the massive damage potential is enticing, it's important to remember that sticky sinks come with very real drawbacks. For starters, you need to have very committed positioning to properly sink a doorway. In some circumstances, like an even uber's hold, this might not be a big deal. But if you're trying to catch a sync timing on a team advancing with uber advantage, just know that if you miss, you will be dying and putting your team in an even worse position. Furthermore, sticky sinks require a moderate ammo commitment. If you're trying to package a lot of damage together, then you'll need multiple stickies for the job. And if you're just spewing out sinks during teamfights or while holding chokes, fishing for a timing, then you might be wasting valuable ammo that could otherwise be used in a much more reliable way. So let's weigh the pros and cons of sticky sinks. First off, we have the whole point of sinking stickies at all, which is the massive surprise burst damage. Without this, there'd be little reason to do such a specific technique. Next, sticky sinks that are too early to catch players, but remain undetonated, will function as a sticky carpet. This will slow or prevent enemies from entering and can be quite valuable making sticky sinks more versatile and a less timing-dependent opening option for holding choke points and doorways against enemy pressure. As for the downsides, we've already covered the commitment required for both positioning and ammunition, but these problems become more apparent because of how dependent sticky sinks are on both timing and prediction. Sink too late and you might just let an enemy through cleanly, potentially putting you directly in harm's way. Sink too soon and your opponents will see and react to the trap in time. Throwing off sinks without proper timing is going to leave you feeling the vulnerability imposed by these downsides far more than any positives. Now where does that leave us? Where and when are sticky sinks worth attempting? Well, it's going to come down to situations where you can minimize the downsides of course, but here are some tips to get better at sinking stickies successfully. To start things off, in order to get surprise kills, sinks are quite dependent on enemy vision, or rather the lack thereof. As such, you'll notice that most successful sticky sinks involve right angles or corners in map geometry, where you can set up the sink on one axis and an enemy approaching from the other won't see it coming. Sticky sinks are going to be much better in important areas of the map as well, like chokes or even last points, just places where you'd expect enemies to congregate. Also, as you might expect, going for sticky sinks in wide open spaces without any obscured vision isn't going to accomplish very much. Next, it's important to know where you should be positioned as a demo in general. Due to the positioning restraint of sticky sinks, you shouldn't typically go for them in situations where you should be ready to leave, such as uber disadvantage. Since being positioned too aggressively as a demo is a death sentence and usually not worth the risk of attempting a sink. This is a rule that can sometimes be broken with a clutch play, but situations where you get to hold doors much closer are going to offer you a far better risk-reward ratio for sticky sinks. Finally, prediction is key, but predictions can't be made blindly. Recognizing common opportunities in-game will give you a much easier timing to work with. Some examples include when enemies pressure doorways during sacks or kite away from your team's uber charge both of which offer predictable movements and timings that you can punish reliably. 
Aside from that, use every bit of context that you can for information. This could include almost anything you see or hear, but a couple of major ones are what your teammates are saying, or even the control point capture rate. As you become more familiar with sticky syncs, you'll start to pick up on when and where you get success with them, and they'll become more reliable. Soon enough, you'll be making intuitive decisions over timing, whether to debt or just leave a carpet, how hard to commit, and so on. And as you master this technique, you're sure to catch more enemies off guard and squeeze as much versatility out of them as you can. If there's anything I've wanted to drive home here, it's that sticky syncs are a valuable tool that can provide a ton of value to a confident and consistent demo man. But like any tool, sticky syncs are not made for every job, and you need to be sensible about when to use them. Situational or not, however, I'd be lying if I told you that it didn't feel good to know exactly what was about to happen and then erase an opponent with a hard read. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, everyone.